Wontons are a Chinese takeout favorite and they're simple to make. Eat well, save money. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, Judas Behind the Camera, and we're all about simple food, simple faith. I love wontons. They just give me the warm and fuzzies because I remember my dad taking us to Chinatown to have wonton soup. And back in the day, we used to live out in the suburbs where it was like far from the city. And the only place you can get Chinese food was in Chinatown. So we would drive the 30, 40 minutes into town just so that we can have a bowl of wontons. I am making a shrimp wonton today, but you can find my original pork and shrimp wonton recipe in my cookbook, Chinese Homestyle. I'm chopping up about 12 ounces of shrimp into smaller pieces. I like the mouthfeel of biting into pieces of shrimp, but if you can't be bothered, you can easily just toss all of the ingredients into a food processor and blitz it a couple of times. I'll put the shrimp into a small mixing bowl. We're using the white parts only of the green onion for the shrimp mixture. I'm cutting up two green onions and then the rest of the green onion we're going to use as garnish. I have a small, tiny piece of ginger here, barely a thumb size. It's gonna give me about a teaspoon of grated ginger. I'm just gonna grate it right into the shrimp mixture. Okay, let's marinate the shrimp with the sauces. Adding one teaspoon of soy sauce is light soy or regular soy. One teaspoon of oyster sauce. Oyster sauce will add a little bit of umami to it. So it's good to use, but if you don't have oyster sauce, you can just use another teaspoon of soy sauce. And half a teaspoon of sesame oil. One teaspoon of cornstarch about an eighth of a teaspoon of ground white pepper. Good pinch of salt. And to add even more flavor, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of chicken bouillon. And I'm just using this better than bouillon. I'll just mix until everything is mixed in well. Forgot to mention, if you don't have that better than bouillon, chicken bouillon, you can just use regular bouillon. While the shrimp is marinating, I'm going to make my broth. Just on high, I'm gonna bring four cups of water to boil and I'm gonna add the chicken bouillon to it. If you have like a tetra pack of the chicken broth, you can just use that. And it's one teaspoon per cup of water to make the broth. If you have the leftover shells from the shrimp that you maybe had to take off, you can add the shell to the broth as well to add some flavor and then you'll just like strain out the shells um, when, before you serve it. All right, I'm also using about a thumb size piece of ginger that I'm gonna add. I'm just gonna smash it to expose some of the ginger to add to the flavor of the soup. And while I've got the mallet out, I'm just gonna crush my two cloves of garlic as well. Once the broth is coming up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer. Then we're gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes. While the soup is simmering on the stovetop, I am now bringing a pot of water to boil to cook the wontons. I have a, well, it comes in a double pack of wonton wrappers. And the difference between wonton and dumpling is that the dumpling wrappers are thicker and wontons are essentially just a subcategory of dumplings. It is a dumpling, it's being wrapped. So wonton wrappers, the ones I'm using are egg-based, and I think you can get ones that are not. So I like the egg wonton wrappers because of the texture. It's just more delicate than the regular wonton wrappers. 
And dumpling wrappers are just way thicker and it just doesn't work for wonton. Okay, I also have a little bowl of water ready to go and that's to help seal the wrapper. And you're gonna put about a teaspoon of shrimp in the wrapper. And we're going to wet the edge, fold it in half, seal it, and then sit. This amount should make about three dozen wonton. So you can either serve them with noodles, uh, then you can make a full meal with the wonton, or you can just eat them as they are. All right, I have about 10 ready to go. And we're just gonna film this part so that dude can do the taste. And then I can finish making the wontons afterwards. Look at that, perfect. The water's just boiled. So once your water is boiled, just add your wonton. And we're gonna cook them for about five minutes until they float. I'm just turning down the heat because it doesn't actually have to be a rolling boil. Okay, once they're floating, cook them for another minute and then we're gonna scoop them out. Right into the bowl for serving. People often ask why I don't just cook the wontons in the broth that I'm serving it with and the answer is the wontons release starch and other things into the soup that I don't want. And so we want the broth to be clear to eat with the wonton. We're gonna add four teaspoons of soy sauce to the chicken stock. One teaspoon of sesame oil. And a pinch of white pepper. Give that a stir. Add some green onions to the wonton. And let's spoon some of the broth into the bowl. All right, that's it. Are you all ready for? Yep. Oh, this is a perfect day. You guys can't see it, but it's snowing outside here in Vancouver which is uh, first of the whole season. What better way to uh, warm up than with a warm bowl of wontons and soup? And as Flo was saying that, you know, this is one of those nostalgic favorites that brings you back to way back. My grandma used to take us down to Chinatown and we just load up on some wontons and wonton noodles and uh, brings back so many memories. Basic, but so wholesome, awesome. Looking forward to it. Oh yeah, the wonton wrapper is a delicate, fantastic mouthfeel. And the shrimp inside is cooked perfectly. Great mouthfeel and flavor all around. Mm. So this bowl here is about what you get in the restaurant and that would be 15 bucks for this one bowl for the same amount of money. There's enough uh, ingredients here that Flo is gonna make enough to feed the entire family. So yeah, worth it. Awesome, thanks dude. Mm -hmm. Make simple meals for your family, guys. For the original recipe for wontons, check it out in my cookbook, Chinese Homestyle.